Okay, so there's a very easy way to get experience for a lot of these skills. As you can tell, I've been grinding out. I think all of the base ones are unlocked and I've gotten a few to completion as well uh, with this method. Uh, basically, you need to do the dirty ice. I heard you can do it by yourself. Uh, you can do it on hard or very hard. I just do it on hard. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do a solo. It's very quick. It takes like a couple minutes, two to three minutes. I feel like if you have more people, it'll be even quicker. Uh, but, yeah, depending on where you spawn, you're gonna want to head to that alleyway to the right there. I'll obviously be showing that process. Yeah, good spawn. So yeah, just across the street. I basically you wanna Case go down here. Mask up right away. Your choice. Mask up right away. All right. So always a civilian hey, here. What are you doing? You're gonna want to put them behind these boxes. Tie their hands up. Sometimes there's a QR code here. You can scan it if it's here. You only need one. Then you're gonna head up onto the roof here. There's a window down here. That guard's never really gonna spot you. Uh, that camera, you can shoot. Sometimes it's here, and sometimes it's on this corner right here, on the other side. Keep an eye out for cameras and guards. I'm gonna get this going. Uh, sometimes there's a QR code here, here. I'm gonna want those. Um, and like the fourth page, the basement code. Um, looks like it's on the worst spot. There's three spots it can be, and I'll show you those three spots. And there should be an employee area. here. The display cases back there contain the most valuable merchandise. Oh, that's weird. Usually there's an employee here, but we can grab the one in there. And there's a guard right here. This is what we need the QR code for. You're gonna wanna answer the radio as well. What's going on Oops! There? Sorry, buddy. Must have hit some button by accident. It's also tiny. Don't they make these things for grown ups anymore? So. Right, right. Oh, there's another person. Great. That's who we need. Yeah, you're gonna need this person later, so tie up their hands. Uh, one of the possible codes is right there. That's the whiteboard one. That's not mine. Careful! If you touch that glass, it'll set off the alarm. Tie up this person just to be safe. Check the basement. Another potential spot for the code is right here. Also not mine. And the last one is right there. Zero two five. Down there. Zero, two, There's a guard down here. And two cameras. Suspiciously secure this basement. Gonna enter the radio and head into that room. No, no problem here. Must be all this shrapnel I've lodged in every goddamn part of my body interfering with the signal. Shit. Yeah, I can see that. Turn off the power. Grab the key card. Well done. Sometimes this guy has a key card. Alarm. Now we can use the person that we tied up a second ago. Hey! Leave me alone! Yeah, I'm gonna throw him on this button right here. And then activate this. And like close this door for safety. There's a guard walking in there. Get the fuck down! I'll we'll tie them back up just in case. And now you just need four bags to escape. This is one of the bags you need. Uh, three jewelry bags from the inside. Get the bags to the van parked in the back alley. You can make this faster with the uh, lockpick perk. I'm trying to maximize the experience gain. when you're sprinting in here, the guy in there gets a little sus, but I don't usually have a problem with him. Yep, 
these are all the bags we need to get out of here. Get the maximum amount of experience in the quickest way possible. Thank you. 